What is going on guys? Today we are in Davenport, Florida and I'm going to show you just what you can get for $400,000 in today's market. Now this is a house that actually was listed for $390,000 but recently sold for $400,000. And it just so happens that it's in our old neighborhood in Davenport so it's a neighborhood that I happen to know a lot about. I'm gonna take you inside and show you some of the features of the home, but before we do that, let's take a drive around the neighborhood and I'm gonna show you some of the awesome amenities that this community has. Sunshine, blue, blue skies, it's a state of mind that we came to find. I'm talking about Paul. Now, as I mentioned, this community of Providence has great amenities, especially at the low HOA cost of only $133 per month. As you can see behind me, the community is also golf cart friendly, which is a big plus for lots of you. Now let's go check out the pool. So this community actually has two pools, one big lap pool and another pool with two water slides that the whole family can enjoy. Right next to the pool, there's a playground that was just built in 2020. If you're into tennis or pickleball, there are two full-size tennis courts. Did I mention that there's a golf course equipped with a driving range as well as a putting green for you to practice your strokes on? There's also a fully equipped gym that residents have access to, but it felt a little weird going in there and taking video with everybody working out. So we're gonna skip that one for now and maybe just put a picture of it overlaying this. Now that we've seen lots of the amenities, let's go check out the home. All right, we're back at the house, but before we go inside, let's take a look outside. Right away, one thing I love and I notice immediately is there's a nice mature palm tree right in the front yard. Now let's walk around the side yard and check out the back. So this house does not have a pool, but there's definitely plenty of room to put one. And again, there's another nice mature palm tree in the backyard. Also no rear neighbors, so that's great as well. It does have a nice covered patio though. The outside landscaping in the front can use a little maintenance, but overall is in good shape. And look at this guys, it's even got a couple of pineapple plants. Another nice feature you see with a lot of homes in this neighborhood is the paved driveway and the paved sidewalk leading right up to the front door. Okay, so finally, let's take a look inside. Oh, wow, this is nice. So again, guys, as I mentioned, this house was listed for $390,000 and sold for $400,000. And before we show you the house, I think it's important to add too that this house was sold completely furnished. So everything you see in this video was sold with the house. All right, well, this house is four bedrooms and three bathrooms and comes in just under 2,100 square feet. The first thing I notice is the nice tile in the entryway and the tall ceilings throughout. Now these have got to be nine foot ceilings. And in the entryway here, I think we're looking at more like 11 foot ceilings. Now right off the entryway here, it looks like we got a couple of bedrooms maybe and a bathroom. So let's go check those out first. Okay, now first we're gonna check out bedroom number one and it looks like we got a couple of twin size beds in here. This room's a pretty decent size. Window looking right out the front and there's also room for a dresser. Now behind the door to get in the room, we have a bi-folding closet door. Pretty standard. Now moving out of bedroom number one to our right here, we have the guest bathroom. Hi. Now this house was built in 2010 and if I had to guess, I'd say that all the fixtures and all of the finishes in this house are probably original to the build. Now right across from the bathroom, you're gonna see this odd looking closet. And if you're not from Florida, this is something that's probably new to you. Now this is gonna be where your furnace is located. Now another thing, if you're new to Florida, make sure you change your filter every month. And this right here, that's your condensate drain. You wanna make sure that you're pouring just a little bit of vinegar and water down there each month to clean it out. Otherwise it's gonna get clogged and you're gonna have backup and your AC is not gonna work. Not a good thing in Florida. Now let's go ahead and check out bedroom number two. Bedroom number two looks to be a little bit smaller in size. Now this is a full size bed in here. Again, we have a window and we have a normal size dresser here. But overall, there's not a lot of room to walk around in this bedroom. Now behind the bedroom door, we have a closet and this one's a little bit bigger than the last closet. This one has double bifold doors. So it's a little bit more of a standard size closet. 
One other thing I didn't mention is off of the entryway, it's all carpet here, guys. And again, this carpet looks original to the home, so it's probably about 12 years old. Just something to keep in mind when you're looking at homes in this price point. Now that we're back in the entryway, let's take a look at the heart of the home, the kitchen, living room, dining room area. This house has a great open concept. So again, we have an elongated entranceway here. I'm guessing this is gonna be a closet for storage because again, in Florida, no basements. Gotta find some place to store your stuff. Looks like a nice little coat closet here, good for storage. Off to the right, we're gonna see our dining room. Has a nice chandelier, that's a good touch there. A Little bit of extra seating with a buffet table. Moving over to the open concept living room area. Plenty of room for big furniture, guys. This is some good sized furniture in here. A couple of recliners, sofa, love seat. Uh, looks like a little portable fireplace there. Not a permanent one, but a portable fireplace. Um, and again, this place comes furnished, guys. So again, in this $400,000 price point, everything in this home comes with the home. So now let's take a quick look over here at the kitchen, which is right off the dining room and living room. And this is where we might have a few updates here, guys. It looks like the kitchen has a little bit newer granite countertops right here. Definitely not from circa 2010. And it's got some nice pendulum lights here as well, which add a nice touch. Stainless steel microwave, range, and refrigerator, which again, all come with the home. And also some pretty decent cabinets that have the crown molding. That's a nice touch as well. Now we know the place comes furnished. Does it come with dishes? Let's find out. Nope, nothing in there. Looks like we got a little bit newer faucet here for the sink. And we got a corner pantry here. Let's check it out. Oh, wow, okay, that's where all the dishes are. Looks like the new owner of this house will get some dishes after all. It's a good size to this pantry here. Okay, so we've seen the first two bedrooms. We've seen the kitchen. We've seen the dining room. We've seen the living room. Let's go check out that master bedroom and the extra fourth bedroom. And we're still missing two bathrooms. So let's go around the corner in the back here and check out the back of the house. So coming along the back, it looks like we found the master bedroom. So I must have overlooked the fourth bedroom. But this is a good size and it's nice and private, guys. We got a king size bed in here. We have a dresser as well as a chest of drawers. Nice wall mounted TV. And we have a bonus. I don't know if you'd call this a desk, a makeup table. Ladies, you use it for what you want. And us guys, we'll use it for what we want. But interesting enough, when you walk into the room here, something I saw was we have his and hers closets. And I probably did that backwards because I said that his closet is a bigger one. Right now we're standing in his closet, I think. And across the way is the much larger hers closet. So one thing I really like is the view out of this master bedroom and it's right out the back and you have no rear neighbors, guys. This is where that's a big deal. And you don't have to worry about somebody peeping in your windows, right? Let's go check out the master bath. Okay, so it looks like the master bath has received some upgrades. We have his and her sinks with some newer faucets. Nice, again, newer granite countertop there. Looks like the original cabinets, they match the rest of the house. But we have a soaker tub and we have a nice stand-up shower with what looks like newer fixtures on the inside. Looks like that'd be a nice shower in there. Now, opposite of the shower, looks like we got more storage here. Nope, never mind. That is the commode. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't see it the first time. All right, nice little privacy in there. Now, over here, looks like, is where we got our bathroom storage. And again, pretty standard here, guys. Let's go find that elusive fourth bedroom. Okay, so now we're walking out of the master back into the living room. There's the kitchen we already showed you. Here's the entryway. Now, where we didn't go is this way. So it must be back here. Aha, there it is. And this right here is your laundry room. Looks like it comes with a nice washer and dryer. Good storage right above the washer and dryer there. This is gonna be your door to the garage. We'll go through that in a minute. Maybe there's a surprise out there, who knows? But here is your fourth bedroom. And it's actually, I guess you could consider it a master because we've also found our third bathroom. Although this is a pretty small room, guys. This is only a full-size bed in here. You got room for a couple nightstands. You got room for a dresser. Little TV right there above the dresser. And here's your closet. Again, the double bifold doors. Pretty standard closet, nothing special about that. Hello again, here I am. Here is your third bathroom with your toilet and a tub shower combo. Again, nothing special. Looks like everything is original to the home from 2010. Now let's just see if maybe there's something special in that garage out there. You never know what these Florida homes. It could be a game room, it could be a workout area, or it could just be a typical garage. Let's go check it out. Guys, you're doing this for the first time just like me. I have not looked at the listing of this home. I have not been out in this garage. So let's take a look. It's just a garage, guys. No surprise out here. It looks like you do get a nice uh, vacuum and some shelving units as well. And every man's dream, your garage fridge, right? Two-stall garage, nothing special, but here it is. 
So that's the home guys. Again, this home was listed for 390,000 and had an accepted offer at $400,000. That's quite a bit more than it would have sold for just a short couple of years ago. So what are your thoughts? Do you think this is a home that you'd like to live in in Florida? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're looking for a real estate agent in the state of Florida, I'm your guy. Just message me on Instagram, Facebook, send me an email. All those links are down in the description of this email. I'd love to help you out. I got connections all over the state. As always guys, I thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.